That's right. Well, this footage comes after an SBI investigation was completed. Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson requested for the video to be released upon the district attorney's decision to not seek charges. When a use of force results in a loss of life, there is a tremendous impact on those directly involved, the families, the officers, and the greater community. On June 22, 2023, around midnight, police were called to a suspicious vehicle on Tuscaloosa Street. That's where Officer John Corrigan made contact with Graham Robertson. The following content may be disturbing, and we will be showing it now. This footage shows Graham Robertson, who appears to be waving his hand toward Officer Corrigan. Police say Robertson was waving a handgun. Officer Corrigan saw Robertson quickly transfer the handgun from his left hand to his right hand before Robertson pointed the handgun at him. Officials say Officer Corrigan then drew his service firearm from the car and shot multiple times toward Robertson. 22 day one, shots fired, shots fired. Is what the officer called over the radio as he got out of his patrol car. Body-worn camera recording captures what appears to be the black handgun under the police vehicle. After Corrigan handcuffs Robertson, he finds a silver handgun in his waistband. It was later determined that these were BB and toy guns. The officer performed CPR on Robertson until EMS arrived. Robertson later died at the hospital. Greensboro Police Department recognizes the dignity and the value of all human life and knows the circumstances of this incident on June 22, 2023, have deeply impacted the families of those involved the officers, and the community. The DA determined that the officers' actions were justified by both common law principles of self-defense and the NC General Statute 15A-401. Reporting in studio, Lizbeth Ramirez, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.